आदरणीय दर्शकवृंद हामी आजको यो विविध संगालो कार्यक्रमको अन्त्यतिर आइपुगेका छौं सगरमाथा टेलिभिजन परिवार तपाईहरुको सहयोग सल्लाह सुझाव तथा कार्यक्रमको बारेमा सधैं प्रतिक्रिया चाहन्छ तसर्थ हाम्रो ठेगाना हो सगरमाथा टेलिभिजन पीओ बक्स 1400 लुटन भर्जिनिया 22079 हामीलाई इमेल गर्न सक्नुहुनेछ हाम्रो इमेल ठेगाना हो info@nepaltvusa.com हामीलाई फोन गर्न सक्नुहुनेछ हाम्रो फोन नम्बर हो 7039269530 त दर्शकवृंद अब यहाँहरु समक्ष यस वर्षकै सर्वाधिक चर्चित गायिका अञ्जु पन्त द्वारा गाइएकै वर्षकै सर्वाधिक लोकप्रिय गीत नबिर्से तिमीलाई नपाए तिमीलाई प्रस्तुत गर्दै आजको विविध संगालो कार्यक्रमबाट म विपिन राजु प्रति बिदा चाहन्छु आगामी कार्यक्रम सम्मका लागि बिदा दिनुहोस् नमस्ते now it is time for legal discussion with Mr. Fijeral Luis and Mr. Ali Ajar, attorneys at law from the Law Office of Luis and Associates, Falshers, Virginia. Namaste viewers, this is Fitzgerald Lewis and Ali Azar from the Law Offices of Lewis and Associates in Falls Church, Virginia and you are watching us on Sagamata television program. Ali, what are we discussing today? Uh, Mr. Lewis, I wanted to discuss something a little different than immigration this week. Okay. And uh, it actually stems from a query that we had, a question from um, uh, somebody who had contacted me. It happens to uh, be somebody from Nepal who's come over here who's working and was employed for a consider considerable amount of time and uh, for extended hours um, during their uh, employment period, their pay cycle. And um, the company has since then changed ownership. However, there's this issue of overtime and, and other unpaid wages and whatnot, and it's uh, multiple individuals. What, does, what relief does one have where they find that they've been employed and they've been working and they've not been given overtime or, or uh, back wages or something like that? What type of recourse does a person in that situation have? Well, the law protects people um, in, in these type of scenarios where people are not getting paid their rightful wages. Now, in, in, in the past, I have dealt with a whole bunch of Nepali people, and part of it is because I think Nepalis are very, very kind um, people, so people end up taking advantage when you are a nice person. Um, in most of these cases, what had happened is that the person has worked over 40 hours per week, and then they were not getting over or over time additionally the employers had promised a certain amount of money to be given to them and that money was not being paid the bonuses and whatever not and basically the law allows you to file a lawsuit even if you are no longer with the employer but however you can only go back up to two years in certain cases if there's fraud involved you can go a bit longer but Essentially, you're looking at two years. The good news is you generally do not have to pay your attorneys up front. Most of the attorneys, including our firm, ends up taking these cases on a contingency basis. What that means to a regular person is that you don't have to pay the money. The money ends up coming from the employer. The law allows it that the employer be responsible for making that payment. Now, a lot of times people ask me, well, Mr. Lewis, I don't have the uh, the the documents to prove that i have worked overtime i don't have the documents showing what my uh, um, rate of pay was now the law will assume at a minimum the uh, minimum wage is supposed to be paid and many a times even if the minimum wage plus time and a half in overtime people are working especially from overseas sometimes 100 110 hours a week um, and if those are the type of issues you're dealing with you can well imagine in one of the cases we were looking at over a hundred thousand dollars in in damages we ended up settling that case for about sixty sixty seven thousand it was a case out of Baltimore so these are the type of things that happen regularly in in scenarios uh, with people working in restaurants and other places again talk to lawyers that you feel comfortable with not even if you're illegal it's not going to have an impact on your case no one is going to come and grab you because the law uh, is on your side in these type of scenarios we have ha we have been able to stop people from getting deported uh, while we were litigating their cases so again uh, these are not things that one should be worried about um, these are your rights stand up for them so um, so that other people will not have to suffer this is for sure Lewis and Aliazar saying goodbye and God bless for now thank you